Alright, today we're going to do a review, something we've never done on our channel, Tony and Kim's Adventure. Uh, normally you just see our, our stuff that we do, we just wear POV glasses or stuff because I'm not into that, where you look at my face while I'm showing you a mountain in the background. I would just rather show you the mountain. You don't need to see my face, it doesn't matter. You, you, you watch this because you want to see what we're seeing. So anyway, this is our first time. We actually have a uh, uh, rocket stove from Clough's Ironworks out of Artesia, New Mexico. Uh, so we're going to put this thing together. I've only done it once so far. I did it when I first got it on the uh, kitchen table. It's a whole bunch of pieces, but they all interlock together like one of those little puzzles. And then it makes a little uh, jet stove, uh, sorry, rocket stove. And this thing is, I got it, it's not definitely not for, for backpacking. This thing, this thing actually weighs 10 pounds. I actually weigh it, it weighs 10 pounds. But this is something that uh, we could use definitely for uh, when we go camping or when we go to lookouts. If you've seen our other videos, we go to a lot of lookouts. And it's just a really small, you can use sticks. You don't have to get a chainsaw and cut up a bunch of wood. You can just use sticks and you can actually put this thing together and you can actually cook a meal on it. Uh, so that's what we're gonna do. So we'll go ahead and pull it out and I'll show you all the pieces. There's just a bunch of pieces and they just interlock all together. Like I said, this is 10 pounds worth of metal. So like it says, we only ever put it together once. And so I'm just gonna sort the pieces out and see what we got. You can see there's a lot. It actually does come with instructions. Um, I actually didn't look at them. I didn't look at the instructions. I just kind of looked at the, the, the pieces and kind of figured it out. Like the first time I did, uh, it probably took me, I'm gonna say uh, seven or eight minutes. And so this is gonna be the second time I've had it for like uh, a week. And the plan is we're gonna try to put this thing together and I'm gonna cook dinner on it tonight in the backyard. So we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so let's try to put this thing together. Like you said, this is only my second time. So all these parts are interlocking like a little puzzle. So we get the back on. Um, get this guy on. I think this guy goes here. I think he goes here. I think that goes there. And then we got to put this other side on. This is the tough part. This is where you got to lock all the pieces together. So I think we do this. And now we got to put all these pieces in the slots. So far, so good. Whoop, whoop. And we got one more. Oh, cool. Okay. Then, oh, then we put the front on. This actually holds it together, locks it in, the inner locks there. And you hold on to that. And then this guy is another locking device that comes in here. Oh, wow. A lot better than the first time. Then we got this little, these two pieces. like that and it's even got a little pan holder or pot holder thing so then there it is and if you come up and you look inside of it the firewood and stuff the little sticks go in here and this here's where it draws air in the bottom and it just funnels it up through here and comes out the top they call it a, a rocket stove because once it's going you're supposed to it sounds kind of like a rocket. You can actually hear it like <laughs> sucking the air in, burning the wood. And as the wood, the sticks hang out, and as they burn, you just slowly push them back in. So we're going to go ahead and set this up, and we're going to crank it up. It's Like I said, it's brand new, so we're going to burn some of this paint. Uh, it is a high-temperature uh, stove paint, but it's never been ran before. So we're going to go ahead and crank it up and get it all nice and hot, see if it works correctly. And if it does, we're going to try to cook some fish on it tonight. So uh, once we get this thing started, we'll get back to you. Alrighty. Um, Tony, while he's getting ready to get everything going, you can actually see 
we just gradually grabbed some of the uh, branches off of our tree when we were pruning and we kept them and we just went ahead and broke them up into smaller pieces so that we could actually utilize it for a future project. So now we're going to go back. Tony is getting ready. He's starting to stack the stove up right now making sure everything is ready to go. And this is my first time doing this. I don't know what size sticks or anything you're supposed to use. We just chop some up. I never used one of these in my life so this is all new to us and we're just gonna see how it goes so I'm gonna put some sticks in here and try to light them and I don't know if you if you can like if you're supposed to like drop some in here to really get it going or if you only feed here we don't know but we're gonna give it a shot so I'm gonna go down here and try to get these sticks lit whoa those things must be dry because they're kind of going already Wow, I've oh, got some smoke coming out. I'm not really sure um, if I should put some in on the top or just keep feeding the bottom. I don't really know. I am, I'm assuming pretty soon we're going to start smelling some paint. Oh, look at the flames coming out there already. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Maybe we don't have to put anything in the top. Oh, there, it's already popping and sparking and, oh wow, boy that thing is really, look at that already. I don't know, I think we're probably already ready for the next stage, a little bit bigger stick already. This thing is, wow. Uh, maybe I should have put this on. Uh, burner top. I'm going to try to put the burner top on because I didn't know if we was going to have to go down here. I'm going to try to put this burner top on because I don't know if I'm going to be able to do that once this thing gets set. dang hot and I'm trying to remember <laughs> how to do it. Okay, I guess I just... Oh, uh, is that right? Okay, and then we put the... Let's go ahead and get that guy on there. Because I thought we might have to, is that, on the, is that in there? <laughs> yep. I thought we were going to have to, uh, like, maybe feed some in from the top. So I didn't want to put that on, but. <laughs> Got some sticks going. And then the air is supposed to rush in there, and that's what's drawing the flame up the top. But I don't hear it sound like a jet engine yet. <laughs> but I don't know. They just uh, jet. I keep saying jet. It's a rocket stove. Anyway, so we'll keep on feeding this fire, and we'll see when we can get some bigger uh, logs in there. And woo woo, yeah. And we'll see how that goes. Well, it's been like two or three minutes and this thing is just eating this wood. And it is just burning really good. Look at the flame coming out the top. It is just really, really cooking. And we're only using, if you look, we're only using these sticks right here. And we have some bigger ones over here, these branches that we haven't even touched yet. I don't think we're actually going to even need those to cook anything on because these, these branches, these sticks are working really well. And as they burn, you just slowly push them back in. That's all I'm doing is keeping them pushed in like that and then just putting some more in. And you can see how they hang out and as they burn, you just slowly just push them further back in. So far, it's working really well. Like I said, I've, we've never used one of these before. Only seen them on TV. And of course, this is definitely not a hiking, something you take hiking. If you want to go hiking and you want to bring a, a, a rocket stove, that's probably where you're going to go into, uh, uh, oh, what is the name of that guy? Firebox Stove, he's out of Utah. He makes these titanium ones that are really super lightweight. And you just even use little sticks even smaller than this. But for camping or something like that, 
Um, you don't have a chainsaw or axe or anything. You can just break sticks off of the tr off of the uh, trees, and you can actually cook your food on here. So we're gonna go ahead and let this run. Um, I don't even know if we're gonna wind up going to those bigger logs, if you will, over there. But we're just gonna let this thing cook for a while and cook off any paint. And so far, I don't see any paint. I don't smell anything besides the smoke itself. So must be some good uh, some good uh, high temperature paint because. I don't see anything burning off on the side or anything and it's just really so far it's just really good for little sticks I mean that's really cool look at that look how far I can push that one in already so we'll keep burning this for a while and we'll get back to you so it's been about a half an hour and as you can see look at that it's still burning really well uh, we did notice it started going down when we started actually getting too big of, of, of pieces of wood it looks like this is the size that this guy likes now we did not try any of those bigger ones um, maybe I don't know all I know is I had to come blow on it and once I blew on it these actually ignited really well and you can see what's going on here it's sucking the air really well and you can see the flame is just coming right out of the top uh, so we're just going to continue to use this size. I'm not really sure. Maybe it's our kind of wood. Uh, what is what is this wood? That is a. It's uh, a willow. It's a willow. So <laughs> I don't know how good willow tree wood is. It was just something that we had to try this. But as you can see, it's burning really, really well. I never heard the rocket sound like you're supposed to, but it doesn't really matter if it works this good. Look at that flame coming out of there. So it's working really good. And we're going to keep this thing going probably about another, uh, I'm going to say we're going to try to keep it going for about an hour. And then we are going to go ahead and uh, cook dinner. Uh, we're going to try to cook some fish on here. Uh, if it gets too dark and the video doesn't turn it out, we're going to end it here. If the video does work, obviously we'll continue and we'll show you that it actually can cook food. Uh, but if... This is the end of the video because of the light and of course, you know, this time of year it's getting dark really early, way before dinner time. But uh, anyway, if you're interested in the stove, this is uh, Clough's Iron Works out of uh, Artesia, uh, New Mexico. And this is our very first review on, and hopefully we can use this uh, coming up uh, next year. That we're going to be going to Idaho and Montana doing some more lookouts. And instead of having to haul a chainsaw and everything like that, we can bring this guy with us and we can just break branches off the trees and we can cook there. You know, if uh, we don't want to stay up on the lookout, we can go down below and we can use this instead of having to make a big ass fire. And hopefully uh, we'll have another video uh, tonight. But if not, uh, hopefully you continue to uh, watch uh, Tony and Kim Adventures. So that's our review of the Clough Ironworks rocket stove as long as you got some good nice dry firewood it works really well we cooked this Alaskan cod in olive oil and it got up to temperature and fried it very well so I hope you enjoyed this video uh, it was our first ever review <laughs> which is kind of weird but anyway uh, hope you stay tuned and be ready for our next adventure <laughs>